Hi, so right off the bat, I want to say that this video is by no means meant to disparage the searches for free energy. I think that free energy, or zero-point energy as it likes to be called these days, falls into two camps. I think there are genuine people who are looking for alternatives and are looking in the world of free energy. And like everybody who has a genuine belief and is doing genuine work, they deserve our respect. Unfortunately, it is also an area that seems to collect an awful lot of charlatans. And to my mind, charlatans deserve nothing and deserve exposure. So the whole point is to deal with the charlatans, not to be talking about those who genuinely believe and genuinely search, and those people deserve respect. Anyway, on with the video. Hi, so I've been sent this link a couple of times to a video that's going viral based on free energy done by a group called Technologia Occulta, which to me sounds like occult technology, but in fact means hidden technology. They're a Spanish-speaking group. And they've done this video where they take an AC alternator out of a car, attach it to a motor, and it mysteriously produces infinite energy. And for that, they have a lot of views. And I was asked, well, do I think it works? To be honest, I, I, from a video, you can never say if you think something is real or not. I mean, it, we all know this, really. If you've ever been to see Star Wars or Star Trek or Aliens or any of the Marvel films, you will know that what you're seeing on the screen, however real it may look, isn't real. It's a film, and we understand that. Now, you may think that that's difficult to replicate in uh, the home environment, but it's not. There's a thing called chroma key. In chroma key, you can pick out a colour, and you can make anything disappear as long as it's in that colour. There's a great guy on YouTube who shows you how to do this using open shot and a video camera, and he does some amazing things. I mean, he's produced videos where he's flying, and he lands, and, he, and he's able to disappear and morph and all sorts of stuff. It's really quite cool. So as long as they painted a wire green and took it out with chroma key, which would take about five minutes, you can do anything that looks like it's anything. It's, it's quite astounding, really, and we all know this when we go to see films, and so it's going to be true on YouTube as well. Seeing it on a video is not really proof that the thing actually works, and that's true of whatever you're seeing on a video. It's really a question of, do you believe it might be true? Because you're not going to get proof unless you actually build it yourself. Now, what they did was um, reasonably complicated and reasonably extent expensive and um, reasonably intricate to build this device, so there's not much chance I'm going to build it myself because it'd take me quite a long time. So I had a look through uh, their other videos to see what the kind of thing they were doing. Now here's one of their videos that they got about half a million views on. What it was were two magnets, two ring magnets, I got these from a speaker or a microwave, I'm not sure which. A bit of plastic, I'm using a bit of wood, and a coil of wire. And they popped the tube in the Magnets, drop the wire on, and then put them on opposing faces like that. And of course they're opposing, so they'll levitate and bounce a little bit. Then they attach a light bulb to it, and claim they get 60 watts, 240 volts, light the light bulb, etc, etc, etc. I can tell you that took about two minutes to replicate and doesn't work at all. It produces absolutely nothing at all, unless you do that, when it will produce a few nanowatts. So that, as an example of what they're doing, doesn't work. Now they claim that it does, and of course if you show them this they'll say oh yeah but you didn't use the right coil, the magnets were wrong, the frequency of the bounce was wrong, etc, etc, etc. Simple fact is that doesn't work because that doesn't work it makes you think that well perhaps they're not a hundred percent telling the truth here and that maybe this more complicated thing they've done also isn't a hundred percent telling the truth. Now, to prove it, you would have to build it and replicate it exactly, test it, and then you would have your proof. But even if you did that, what you'll get back is, oh yeah, but you did this wrong. Oh yeah, but you arranged that wrong. Oh yeah, but the calls were, and so on. There is actually no proof. Seeing it on a video, however it looks, however you go around it, I mean, have you ever seen a stage magician? However they go around this, that's not going to be proof. There is no way to prove it apart from building yourself exactly what they did. Or go and visit them and see it. If you go and visit them and see it and it works, then you'll have your proof. Apart from that, 
It's all going to be a question of whether you believe it to be true or not, and then if you can replicate it. Now, I have my reasons for not believing it, obviously. One of them is the replication I did was clearly nonsense, and if I bothered to replicate the other thing, I would guess they're not being truthful with me. But I can't 100% say that that's the case, for sure. But it does bring up other questions, other interesting questions. Why is it they would do this, and why is it that people watch it and believe it? Now, the first reason why they would do it, well, that's really easy, hey? I mean, a video that goes viral of that order of magnitude has probably earned them somewhere in the region of 25 to 30,000 pounds, something about that. That's much more than you think. Advertising revenue from a viral video is quite high on YouTube. If you get videos of that level, that's the amount of money you're going to be earning from it. So they've already got their 20, 30,000 pounds because you've clicked on it and watched it and they've got their advertising revenue. So having a, a high watch video is a target in itself. So that's what they're getting from it. They don't need to sell you a kit, although they probably will try. They don't need to. They've already earned their money just from the advertising, just because you clicked on it, just because it said free energy. So their motivation is pretty clear, actually. It's, it's just financial. The other thing is, why do we watch them? Well, I think we watch them for the same reason we watch films. When we go into a film, we go into it wanting to be entertained. We know what we're going to see isn't going to be real, but we do something called suspend our disbelief. It's not that people are credible or gullible or foolish when they go and see aliens. I've seen aliens enjoy the film. It doesn't make me an idiot because I enjoyed it. I know these things don't exist. Duration of the film, I suspend my disbelief. So I don't believe in it, but I suspend my disbelief in it so I can enter the world of the film and enjoy the film. So suspension of disbelief has a large part to play, I think, in the reason that we watch these things. It's not that we believe in them. We wish to believe in them. And of course, that's perfectly understandable. We live in a troubled world in an energy crisis where bills are shooting up like you wouldn't believe and we're all looking for solutions. We have hope for a solution. And if a solution is apparent, then we will suspend our disbelief to enter that world based on the hope we have that something is going to be real. So it's not that people are foolish and credible, but suspension of disbelief takes place, I think. And then when that suspension of disbelief takes place, we watch it and we ask ourselves, could this be real? Now, if you go into a room with a couple of hundred people and those couple of hundred people tell you something you are not sure about is right, and you think maybe it is, maybe it isn't, the chances are those two couple of hundred people will sway your opinion. So another thing that happens on these videos is you get long lists of praise. They'll leave in one or two doubters just to create that sense of balance. There's a long list of prayers, and that can act as a convincing thing all in itself, just because there are so many people in there saying, oh yeah, that must be true. And that can push you towards a decision, coupled with your suspension of disbelief based on your hope of a solution. That's why I think people buy into these things, and why they will click on it, and why they will watch it, and why they will recommend it or ask to other people. It's nothing to do with the credulity of people, it's got to do with that, I think. Now, unless I title this video appropriately, of course, it won't get five million views. It'll probably get a few thousand views, whereas that has had five million. So I'm not sure of the impact this particular video will make, but I still wanted to spend the time answering the questions that have been asked. So in summary, do I think it works? Well, I don't know, but I don't believe it does. I don't believe it does because the replication I did of one of their earlier things turns out to be nonsense. So it's likely that a replication of the other one is the same. They apparently are motivated by the, uh, the money, the advertising revenue. We buy into it because we are in a, a desperate time in terms of energy. We have hope, which is a great thing. And we are willing to suspend our disbelief. Anyway. I hope that was help. I hope it was of interest. Thank you very much for watching and if you could, please remember to like and subscribe.